Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College again. What we're going to do today is work more on translations, meaning we're going to translate word statements to math and math to word statements. And of course, we cannot get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. All right, we're doing translations today, your favorite subject. That's right. Okay, here we go, right there. Here's our first translation. We're going to translate this word statement to math. Okay, Charlie, here we go. What does the sum mean? Addition. Addition, that's right. So we'll put in an addition. Now, what are we taking the sum of? What are the two things we're taking the sum of? X and 8. X and 8. There you go. That's it. Let's do another one. All right, here we go, Charlie. We have the quotient. Now, don't get scared. Charlie, what does the quotient mean? Division. Division, that's right. So we'll put our division symbol there. Now, what are the two things we're taking the quotient of? 49 and 7. 49 and 7, very nice. Now, yes, we could write this quotient as a fraction, where 49 is the numerator and 7 is the denominator. But we're not worried about that right now. We'll get to fractions soon enough. OK, Charlie, are you ready? Now, Oh, by the way, we're not concerned about the answers right now, although 49 divided by 7 is 7, for those of you that want to know. But we'll get to that later. Okay, we just want to write the word state, the math statement. So here we go, Charlie. Here goes another one. Now, this is the product. What does product mean, Charlie? Multiplication. Multiplication, very nice. Now, there's different ways of noting you have a multiplication problem. Here, we're going to use the little dot. Now, you could use the little x if you want, but we'll start with this. The dot means the product. Okay, Charlie. Now, what are the two things we're taking the product of? 8 and negative 7. Very nice there. 8 and negative 7. Okay. Now, Charlie, do we need that dot in front of the parentheses? No. No. Now, remember, if you put a number, that 8, outside the parentheses, there is no operation indicated. But when you have a number outside the parentheses, it implies that you have what operation, Charlie? Multiplication. Multiplication. So there's two ways to write this math statement as the product of 8 and negative 7. Either way is fine. Okay, Charlie, let's do another one here. Let's step it up a bit. Here we have the difference of 6 and the product of 2 and 3. Don't get scared. Just read and translate. Okay, Charlie, we have a difference. Now, what does difference mean? Subtraction. Subtraction. Very nice there. Okay. We have our subtraction now. Now, what are the two things that we're subtracting? 6 and the product? That's right. 6 and the product. So, we get that far. We take a break. <sighs> okay, right here we have the difference of 6 and the product. Now, the product. What are the two things we're taking the product of, Charlie? 2 and 3. Very nice. Mm -hmm. The 2 and the 3. Mm -hmm. And there you go. That's your answer there. All right, that was a tough one, huh? Well, let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. The quotient of 6 and 2 subtracted from negative 3. So take a break. Okay, let's go. Charlie, what does the quotient mean? Division. Division, that's right. Okay, so we have our division there. Now, what are the two things we are taking the quotient of? 6 and 2. That's right. It's just 6 and 2. Okay, now take a break. Okay. Now, it's the quotient of 6 and 2 subtracted from. So this quotient is being subtracted from or taken away from what, Charlie? Negative three. A negative 3. That's right. So the subtraction has to go in front. Now, you can't just put the subtraction there. You have to put a parenthesis saying there's the quotient of 6 and 2, and that quotient is being subtracted from. So notice we put the subtraction symbol out in front. Okay? Now, Subtraction symbols there. Now, this quotient is being subtracted from what, Charlie? Negative 3. Negative 3. There we go. And that is our answer. Ooh, that was a tough one. <sighs> All right, now, we've finished translating word statements to math, so let's go the other way. Let's translate math statements to word statements. Here we go, Charlie. A plus B. Now, is this a sum, a quotient, a product, or a difference? Sum. It's the sum, right? It's the sum. Now, it is the sum of what two things? A and B. A and B. There you go. That's it. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Right there. Now, what is this? 
the quotient. It's the quotient. It's the quotient of what two things? X and three. X and three, there you go. The quotient of X and three. Very nice there, Charlie. Now let's do this one over here. Don't get scared. What is this, Charlie? A sum, a difference, a product, or a quotient? Product. It's the product, that's right. It's the product of what two things, Charlie? Negative eight and five. Negative eight and five, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Okay, let's continue on. Here we go, Charlie. Now we have this one, don't get scared. Now, there's actually two ways you can say this or write this as a word statement, so just relax. We'll do, do this problem two different ways, watch. Okay, Charlie, now, what do you see? Is this a difference, a product, a quotient, or a sum? There's two things there. Yeah, there's two things there. It, you see a product and a difference, okay. So here we go. Let's start with a difference. Now, this is a difference of two different things, Charlie. It's a difference of what? Six and a product? That's right. It's the difference of six and a product. Difference of six and a product. But it's the product of what two things, Charlie? Two and three. Two and three. Very nice. So this is a tough one. This is the difference between six and the product of two and three. Now, let's try this another way, and I'll lead you through this one, Charlie. Here we go. Or we could write this as the product. The product of two and three is being subtracted from what, Charlie? Six. Six. That's right. Now, this is a tough problem here, so you gotta practice at these. So don't get scared, and don't give up. You can do this, especially you. All right, Charlie, let's do one more problem. Okay, here we go. This one right here. Now, don't get scared. Now, tell me what you see first, Charlie. The sum. Okay, the sum of what two things? Six and the quotient. Six and the quotient. Very nice. Now, the quotient of what? Six and three. Six and three. Very nice. And that's it. Here's another way, and I'll lead you through this one. We can start with the quotient. This is the quotient of six and three added two. So it's the quotient of six and three being added to the what, Charlie? Six. To the six. There you go. So two different ways of answering that. Anyway, those are some tough problems here, so don't get scared. Just keep working, and we'll see you all again soon.